Today, there are some new admin commands in Toilet Tower Defense, so I'm gonna be using some pretty cool secret admin commands. So as you guys know, the rescripted game is here, so there's a lot of different stuff in the lobby, like the update log, you can see the whole thing, and you can go back to previous updates. Whenever you open menus, it zooms out a little bit, and things are just a bit different than before. That also includes a new system that has pretty much a lot of new admin commands, including some really, really cool ones. So before we get into the video, like and subscribe and maybe just maybe you'll start looking like the sigma crate in real life anyways let's get started so the first new command we have is the force field command if you haven't seen this yet well let's join a public server and i'll show you so this is mostly meant for like developers are here like partners and partner servers like if they have a lot of people following them and they need to do something without being completely surrounded well you can just open the admin menu and go force field me Yes, and then you can choose the power so like how many studs someone will get knocked back and literally just like you can make it crazy with super high numbers But I'm gonna start with five and then you can do a size So if you just do it normally then the default size is this the default knockback is pretty low, too So this just stops people from getting near me. It just makes them sit and makes them fly away. So this <laughs> People just keep trying to run up to me and <laughs> getting knocked back. Bro, this is actually kind of funny. Like, they, they keep just getting up and then running back into it. But things can get a little crazy. So, for example, if I go force field, well, let, let's turn it off for now. Let's turn it off. So, I can make it like a million and then whenever I run into someone, <laughs> they're just gone. <laughs> they're literally just gone. Like, you see this man right here? He just witnessed like five people fly away. Oh, there goes that guy. But now he's next. And there he goes. He is entirely entirely gone. So I, I think these people know. <laughs> they know that something's up. I'm gonna slowly start walking towards them. <laughs> oh, this guy's running away. I, I don't think he wants to figure out what it does. Oh wait, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Oh, I got him. And then I can also make it a crazy number. Like I can make my force field 100. No one can get near me at all. The power is only one right now, so it's not really gonna launch people back that much. Uh oh, he got in my force field. I need to make the power a lot more. All right, now no one is getting in my force field. We are cooking but this is one of the new admin commands probably one of the most useful ones if someone gets inside the force field though they're not gonna get launched so like these people have basically found the way to be safe and now for complete chaos if we force field everyone then it gets a little crazy so we can all launch each other and it's literally like, like i don't even know it's a it's definitely really laggy but this is just the first of the admin commands now we need to take away everyone's force field so i I'm gonna do kill all. Next, there are some pretty interesting admin tools. So most of them are basically just the old Roblox tools like the rocket launcher, lean sword, stuff like that. For some reason, I don't know why, Evan decided it would be a good idea to make the normal sword, the, why, why did I say it like that? The normal sword short. So now it's short and it like does half the damage. Like it takes two hits to kill someone. I don't know why he did that. The entire point of the sword is like, if you need to get people away from you fast, so if I'm trying to go into endless mode if I spin around with a super short sword that does low damage That's not even gonna like it, it's pretty much useless now Although I did that I'm gonna like add the normal link sword back But anyways the really cool thing I want to show you guys is you know how I've been mentioning on my live streams How like I wanted to make a launcher that launches crates and they can be automatically signed if you launch them Well, we actually have some progress on that So in game right now with admin commands I can spawn this thing which basically just launches like t-shirt looking things just squares with decals on them it pretty much doesn't really do anything special picking them up does nothing but that's because for the test purposes evan made it where it like launches a random unit from the summon and then like if you touch that unit then you get it so we already have the system where you can launch something and that thing goes into your inventory we just need to make the somewhat more complicated system where like it takes the crate from your inventory launches it with this and can't be duped only partners will get it though, so as long as none of the partners do anything weird, it's gonna be way less risky because if normal people got it, there would probably be a bit of like hackers that try like hacking to make it where they can dupe stuff with it. Because with partners, we can just demote one of them if they're like trying to dupe stuff with it or something, but most likely since now we have two scripters, it's, it's not gonna be an issue anyways. But anyways, like I was saying, the test one right now literally just launches 
stuff from the summon. Here's a video of it, actually. So here you can see Evan is in game with it. He takes it out and launches things that have a unit icon. It just launches completely random units. Actually, those are not from the summon. It's just completely random units. It's basically like RNG right now. But yeah, whenever you step on them, it goes up here and then you can get like multiple and that's a pretty cool system so exactly how this is gonna work is again partners are gonna get it developers are gonna get it anyone that can sign units pretty much is gonna get it so we're gonna be able to launch crates from our inventory crates are gonna go out of our inventory onto the ground and we're gonna have the option to make them automatically sign if we want to which will be great for streams because that means like all the people that like I do a lot of crate giveaways on stream mainly with gifting but all the people that get in my server I could just launch crates and also like I could just join a random server and turn my Roblox joins on. So I could give 50 people a crate a lot faster than I could give 50 people a crate if I were to like gift them crates. Plus I kinda got a thousand coconut crates in my inventory because one of my friends wanted me to sign something and I told him I'd do it. Well, he wanted me to sign a bit of things and asked what I wanted and I just said coconut crates and then he said is a thousand enough and then he gave me a thousand coconut crates. So I'm gonna launch all of those. Oh wait, if you do pick up a t-shirt with the t-shirt cannon, it does put the t-shirt shirt on you so i'm pretty sure this is like a roblox tool but evan pretty much rescripted it to launch units which is kind of interesting i mean the model on it is pretty nice so i don't know we might like remake everything later but right now for testing we're gonna stick with this this item is not currently for sale your account has not been charged what anyways those are the new admin tools i also wanted to take a moment for to say i've been grinding in my clan we got number two despite being the owner of the game and being busy with a bit of other things today i was still able to get almost 2,000 strength total and a lot of people in my clan have like 2,000 plus strength i've been kicking some people that don't have that much but if you're insanely active we changed the requirements a little bit in the discord server you can send a screenshot showing that like if you're in another clan and you already have like at least a couple thousand strength for that other clan then you can send that screenshot to prove that you'll be super active and then you can switch over to my clan which again strength doesn't save between clans so you'll have to start over but if i see that you're really active and you have that proof by being super active in another clan then you can join mine you have a one slot open right now but we got the number two we've been going between five and six thousand past evan clan so far today he's got 1.7k strength i've got 2.1k and rich clan has almost 3k so rich clan is still like going crazy but i'm gonna give 100k gems to the person i guess number one in my clan i don't spawn in gems by the way i, I traded a lot of signed crates to one of my friends and he gave me a lot of gems for it so that's pretty much it for the video as always like subscribe thank you all for watching i'll see you all in the next video